When people think genius, they think Elon Musk. And when they think Elon Musk, they think SpaceX, Neuralink, PayPal, Tesla, Twitter. And when I think of Elon Musk, I think of Jared Burchill. And you might be thinking, who the f is that guy? Well, what if I told you that Jared, AKA Elon Musk's right hand man that has been running Neuralink is also managing Elon Musk's personal wealth and the man that nearly single handedly closed the Twitter deal. So how does a guy like him go from graduating with the bachelor's of arts degree to managing the wealth of one of the most well known and rich people on the planet? Well, he got a little bit lucky, but what did he do to land a job with Elon? What does he do for him now? And most importantly, how can we profit from it? First, let's rewind a little. Jared graduated from BYU. That part, I know, is a little bit of a weird start. But then, right after his graduation, he went to work at Goldman Sachs in the year 2000 in the midst of the dot-com bubble crash. Once this body started in motion, it was very, very difficult to get put the brakes on. And by one o'clock, everyone threw in the towel and said, it's a foregone conclusion. These things are going down. We'll wait till Monday to get back in again. Well, that didn't last long since Goldman Sachs pretty much fell apart. He then went to work for Merrill Lynch, which if you're unfamiliar, is another financial institution like Goldman Sachs. And this company kept him around for about 10 years, where he became a private wealth advisor, which actually doesn't pay too bad, around two to 300,000 per year. Of course, that is if you're customer facing and really good at your job. And unfortunately for Jared, or maybe fortunately, he was fired from that position because he had communicated to a customer without proper manager approval, which is a huge no-no in the financial world. And I mean, you would think he knows that after being in the space for 10 years, but this is Jared, the arts degree major, of course. Okay, I'm just kidding, art majors, calm down. Please don't throw your paintbrushes at me. I mean, they won't hit me through the screen anyways. After that, he applied at his final job before landing the gig alongside Elon. And this one, of course, was with another financial institution called Morgan Stanley, which is where he met and befriended Elon Musk. Jared really made sure not to use that arts degree, huh? No, he did not. But while he was at Morgan Stanley, he moved up to a senior vice president position, which is kind of like the manager of monkeys in the investment banking world. And I only call him that because that's pretty much an industry standard. Yeah, for those of you wondering, the investment banking world isn't that friendly of a space, unless you're one of the rainmakers at the company, but that's for another video. And thanks to this manager of monkeys title that he had, that helped him secure a job alongside Elon. You see, Morgan Stanley, at the time, was the company handling Elon Musk's wealth. And Jared just happened to be working on that particular account. Right place, right time. And Elon Musk seemed to really like his work and offered him a position. Jared left Morgan in 2016 and went to work for Elon full time. Plus, he was probably making around six to $800,000 at Morgan Stanley. And now he rakes in at least $3 million a year. Not to discredit any of the wild perks that he probably gets with the job as well. And since the early days of starting to work with Elon Musk, he's been a busy bee. Elon says, go dig up dirt on an enemy. Jared says, okay. Elon says, arrange massive loans to buy Twitter. Jared says, done. Elon says, hire bodyguards, sell my homes. Virgil says, no problem. Elon says, become the CEO of a multi-billion dollar neurotech company, AKA Neuralink. Jared says, no problem, boss. He's definitely the yes man when it comes to helping Elon. But there's something that he does that most people overlook. And that is the fact that when he was hired, he was tasked with helping start the Elon Musk private family fund called Excision. And since the time that he was hired, he's been handling Elon Musk's private wealth from that very same fund. And this is the stuff that made me really curious because some funds are public information. So I dug a little deeper to see what this fund was up to. Unfortunately for us, Excision keeps things pretty private, but there are a couple things that I was able to find out about the company's inner workings. For example, at one point, they had a pretty nice real estate investment portfolio worth up to a few tens of millions of dollars all in the Los Angeles area. But they have since sold those because Elon Musk was scrutinized by the media for all of his wealth hoarding that he does. And I get it. I mean, why would you as one man need seven houses? Maybe because he has like 10 kids. 
but that's for another video. Although I did find that he had around a $5 billion investment in Bitcoin and a considerable amount into Ethereum and Dogecoin as well, which when you look at it is a pretty sizable position even for a hundred plus billion dollar man. Excision is also the company that Jared and Elon used to purchase Twitter. They used $21 billion of Elon Musk's equity and 25 billion in loans. And there are other pretty sizable investments that they've made over the years, but unfortunately for us, those are quite a bit more private. And there is one that I covered in a separate video, which I'll link at the end for you guys as well if you wanna check it out. And there you have it. The man that somewhat secretly runs Elon Musk's personal wealth, his right-hand man, and some of the assets that they own. And if you wanted to invest alongside them, these would be the ways that you would do so. And of course, this isn't investment advice by any means, but you could own Bitcoin, some Ethereum, some Dogecoin, and if you have a few million dollars lying around, maybe do a personal investment into Twitter or maybe even Neuralink. Those would most likely do a pretty good job of mimicking their portfolio. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see what secret investment Elon Musk has actually made, go check out this video here. I think you'll like it. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.